Okay, it's Thursday afternoon. I came in early to do some uh, some orthopedic procedures uh, to help out some of the doctors and teach them how to use some externals, and they flaked out on me. So uh, <laughs> I can't fix those lizard legs today. Anyway, uh, you're seeing looking here at Beardy. This guy's over a year old. Uh, actually, he's in pretty good health. I mean, this is what it would look like a little more in nature or a healthy one in nature. But here in captivity, that should be wider and fatter. But uh, anyway, so uh, we don't have any stool sample today, but he has enough problems. It turns out that right there, he actually has a fracture. Oops. He has a fracture right there. Okay. So we'll take his, uh, his foot back, make it more or less like a splint, so he'll uh, favor it and leave it alone. And you can actually see the swelling and stuff in that area as well right there. Um, goes up to there. Anyway, so that's where we're at for this guy. <laughs> this is what it looks like before the splint. In a second, we're going to rest and get a splint on. And then I still get to go fix broken legs. But I get to do it all by myself. I'm alone. I can't touch it. Okay, it is splinted. Um, there are, I could have used a real splint. The bad news is that using a real splint, I would have had to have taped something against his body wall here and against the body wall there. So we decided that we'd use the base of his tail as our splint and just tape it backwards. That'll keep him from putting any weight right there where his fracture is. Anyway, when you're splinting something, you want to make sure that you stabilize the joint below it and the joint above your break. Um, this classic orthopedic stuff here. Anyway, and doing it this way, we can actually monitor for any signs of skin infections. Mom also monitoring any swelling in the back end. We don't want to cut off the blood supply. You know, that's how loose the tape was. So, where do you think you're going? Um, <laughs> the good news is, as he's walking around now, he won't try to put weight on this, okay? It'll actually just be there. And we will uh, x-ray it again in about seven to 10 days, see where it's at. Um, these guys do tend to uh, heal a long bone a little bit faster than we would. Uh, but we'll recheck this splint or this, uh, this bandage every week, make sure there's no signs of infection and stuff beneath it, and we'll take it from there. All right, and I'm going to send you home to see you again. You stole a sample, and this guy's all thin with a few doses of some dewormer. All right, all right, that's it for now. Later. Here's the cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy here had a, a left distal tibial fracture. Um, came in limping and not doing too well. So mom thought he was injured and she was right. She was right on. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, this guy hates his cage. And me, just one time. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, we just taking some x-rays. Got some good callus there. He's healing well. This particular type of splint seems to be working well for this guy. So this is his one week recheck. All is well. And hey dude, what's up? You gotta say something? No? Nothing? That's your chance. Wisdom. We're waiting for wisdom. Eat the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so anyway.
This is another one of those sad, sad cases. Sarcasm mom, don't give me that look. All right, later. This is the foot of that lizard. <laughs> They just escaped the bandage with which I just threw in the garbage. Turns out our buddy here actually had a fracture. Got a pin to point. Had a fracture right here, going across one of the growth plates. Um, that is actually healed. X-ray showed it's looking pretty good. So we have just taken this uh, this little bandage off. This is one of those guys where we actually take it back to the ledge. You know, they're really cool torture for lizards. Um, as opposed to putting that whole full body thing where you put it across the legs and give them the, the tea and the body thing. Yeah, but not like me. I could have done that. No, no, she's going no. Yeah, whatever. I'm the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I could have said we have to do it, man. That's the only way I saved his life. And you'd have gone okay. <laughs> All right. She's laughing. She's being probably quiet about it though. Um, anyway, uh, I was just hearing all kinds of really cool stories about this guy jumping off of things and being a rather, you know, a rather a lizard like Daredevil. I like him already. Um, these guys are good for business. Good lizard. Anyway, uh, but it doesn't mean that we gotta do this on a regular basis. So take a, take a few days off, a few weeks maybe, and uh, we'll see you next time you need us. All right. Later, little buddy. Bye-bye.